Hey everyone, this is Spook again. And this time on this screencast, I'm going to show you how to use your Cloud Drive service as a Windows Drive to make things so much easier than whatever the vendor gave you as a default interface, which is usually a web-based interface where you have to drag things into a web browser, wait for it to upload, or browse to the file you want to upload from the web page and wait for it to go and do its thing. Uh, it's not very intuitive and it's not very user-friendly. Uh, this solution will make your cloud service, whether it's Amazon, Cloud Drive, or Google Docs, or even Google Picasa for, for pictures, uh, act as if it's a Windows network drive. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like when you're all done, and then I'll show you how to install it and get the software for free. So here's my map drive. You can see that I have uh, three services mapped, my Amazon Cloud Drive, my Google Docs, and then my Picasa account for uh, pictures. Okay. To copy a file here, you just browse to the folder where you want to drop it, and then just drag and drop your documents. Now depending on how fast your network connection is, it'll go pretty darn quick. You can drop multiple files, you can create new files, new folders, um, anything you would do normally as if it's a normal drive. Okay. You can either you can even run a simple application and uh, make a new file and save it to your network drive. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save it to my Z drive and I'll put it in Google Docs and I'll call it Tests. Okay, and that's it. Okay, pretty easy to use, much much more intuitive. Now my internet connection right now is a little slow, so if I was copying something like a uh, um, big picture file may take a while only because I'm downloading a bunch of stuff in the background but normally it works pretty fast especially if you're not on a wireless and you're hooked up directly and you have a fast uh, broadband connection. So let me go ahead and refresh my my folder here and see if I can find that test document. Here it is. Um, let me open it. Make a new file. Okay. So how do you get the software? Well, there's a there's a free version of this software. They sell they sell a uh, professional version, but I find that the starter edition uh, is more than enough for most users. I think there's some limitations on it. For example, you can only copy via drag and drop up to a thousand files at any single transaction, which is not a big restriction or limitation for me at all. Um, if I had to copy two thousand files, I would just do it in two transactions. You can buy the professional version if you want to, but I didn't find that I need to. So the, the product is called Gladinet uh, Cloud Desktop. And to get there, you just go to your browser and go, go to gladinet.com. Select the uh, Gladinet Cloud Desktop, go to download. You can either buy the professional edition or you can just use the starter edition and download the appropriate version for your desktop, either 64-bit uh, or 32-bit. and then. Uh, it's a, I think, a 20 meg file. Downloads pretty quick. Run the setup, and once it goes through and does the complete setup, it'll present you with a screen that looks something like this. When you first start it, so when you first start, you don't have any services set up yet, and it'll ask you to go ahead and select a service. So let me go ahead and select my uh, Amazon Cloud Drive. You can give it a name. It gave this one Amazon Cloud Drive 1 because I've already have an Amazon Cloud Drive map. But I can rename that to anything. Okay. Then you put in your credentials. Click Next. It'll go through and it'll verify it. I'm not going to do it because uh, I've already had a map. And then when you're done, it'll just show up as a folder with the name that you gave it on your network map drive. Okay, And that's it. Well, good luck, and I hope that you find this uh, this one useful. And if you like it, go ahead and buy the professional version. I think it's pretty cheap to support the company, but for me, the free start edition was more than enough. All right, see you guys next time.